Hello, and welcome to another speed build video from me, Myler. What's up? Um, it's been a minute since I've done a video. It's really just been a week. I don't know why I'm being dramatic, but we're back. Hi, I'm back from Hawaii now. If you watched my two Hawaii vlogs, thank you. Appreciate it. Things took a turn during that time um, that I didn't necessarily expect, so... The vlogs were much shorter than I thought they were going to be. Um, but yeah, we actually shortened our trip. We ended up coming back three or four days early because we um, had been hearing that they were going to start doing lockdowns. And I guess that didn't really happen, but we were worried that we weren't going to be able to come back. And um, Noah's stepmom has an essential job, so we had to come back. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we came back on Friday. We were supposed to come back actually yesterday or no, two days ago, but we came back on Friday. We're all fine. Um, Noah has a cold, but that's it. It's nothing serious. So one of the people that we were with actually did, um, contract the virus, but we think he got it from back coming back home because he went to the DMV because he lost his wallet in Hawaii. It's the whole thing. So, He'll probably be okay, but yeah, it's weird. It's very weird times, and this video was kind of like, should I post a video? I don't know, but I have nothing else to do, and um, I kind of just decided, you know, I haven't done what I would consider more of my, like, bread and butter, which is 1950s houses uh, in a long time, so that's what I went back to. In this time of isolation, quarantine, whatever you want to call it, um, I'm doing what I feel like doing. And right now, that's not the year-by-year -year challenge. It's just what I want to do, which is 1950s ranch homes, because that's what gets me excited. That's what gets me like wanting to play this game a bit more. So yeah, this particular house is a 1956 floor plan from a book um, made by the Archway Press Inc. Incorporated. Is that what INC means? It's uh, just called Illustrated Ranch Homes, and it's public domain. It's on archive.org, of course. And yeah, I just really liked the um, exterior. I thought it was very, like, I don't know, doable and something that I maybe would have seen in reality, and I couldn't exactly get that little uh, covered walkway on the right side because the columns um, or the posts are actually angled. They're diagonally angled out, and the uh, the beams over top are in line with the roof, and I just couldn't figure out how to do that, but it's close enough, I think. So um, this is probably the largest house I've done in a while. And it, I did it all in one day, which is really weird for me. I have not done a house in one day in a really long time. Granted, editing it took me like three days just because I didn't feel like doing it. <laughs> so that's the downside of being stuck at home. Like my job is not considered an essential job, but thankfully my company is um, paying us and isn't laying everybody off. So um, and my managers have been great in like figuring out, you know, how to use our PTO and stuff. I have a crap ton of PTO, so thankfully I'm still getting paid <laughs> during this time. Um, but I have nothing to do. So it's weird. It's like, I don't, it's probably a byproduct of like depression too, of just executive dysfunction, you know, wanting to do something, but just not being able to make yourself do it. So that's kind of what's been happening to me the past couple days. And, um, I finally just finished it today. And I hate that thing of like, you postpone something for so long and then you finally go to do it and it takes you like way, like less than an hour to finish, you know, it's really annoying, but we're here, we're doing it. It's okay. <laughs> I had like so much anxiety this morning because I had a bad dream about the coronavirus and like, I'm just trying to push through it. So here we are. Um, I use these little tile things to kind of replicate the weird, I think it's actually just like a wood planking that they had in between the windows. I've seen that a lot in 1950s houses. 
and I couldn't really figure out any other way to replicate it. So I use these weird little tile things that I've never used before <laughs> in this game. Um, actually, no, I have used before, but I always use them in this sort of way. Like I've only used it once before, I think, in a build actually for this channel, but um, it's they're just like such a random little thing that I don't know why they're in the game, but there they are. Also with this house, I wanted to point out, since it is a 1950s house, um, I did a lot of color, what's the word, like matchy-matchy stuff. So every room for the most part is <laughs> kind of like one color per room in a way. Um, that's something I've talked about before when I've done mid-century houses. It was very popular. It was trendy at the time for everything to be like one color per room kind of. So um, in this game, we have a lot of pink and blue. So that's why a lot of this house ends up being pink and blue. So just forewarning. Also, I had a lot of issues with this fireplace. I wanted to do a really big sort of statement 1950s fireplace because that was a big trend as well. And I did end up going back and changing it. I cut out a lot of me trying different bricks, trying to get it to work and stuff. And it was just not coming out the way I wanted to. And um, I made a lot of like design changes throughout this, but it's crazy. I've never like sat through one of my speed build videos. I've never sat through the entire time and built it in one sitting and this one I did. So it's kind of weird. I've never done that. Usually it's like I will build it and then I'll get tired of building it and I'll come back like the next day or so and make a bunch of changes and all of that. But I didn't do that this time. So I'm kind of watching it through right now for the first time and being like, oh, okay, maybe I would have changed this or that, but I just have to accept it now. <laughs> um, oh, I also wanted to mention, so I, part of the reason why this took me a few days to edit and actually upload is I've been obsessively playing Animal Crossing. So Animal Crossing was probably my first love before The Sims. I am not one of those who played The Sims like since birth. Um, I mean, that wouldn't have been possible because it didn't exist when I was born, but, and oh yeah, speaking of which, my birthday is like next week, like almost, yeah, a little under a week from today. Uh, my birthday's on the 31st, so weird. <laughs> I'm turning 26 a really weird thing. But I've been playing Animal Crossing probably since I was, I don't know, maybe 10. My friend had it on her GameCube and I would go over to her house like every single day and um, was pretty much obsessed with whatever she was obsessed with. You know, it was that kind of friendship because she was older than me. So I was like, whatever you're into, I'm into. So that's how I became into like Evanescence and <laughs> all of that sort of stuff. So um, yeah, I've been obsessed with Animal Crossing since then. I remember I that was the only like birthday present I had asked for that year. And my brother saved up money to like joint get one with me. So we both played it, but I played it way more than him because he liked fighting games a lot more. So he got like a, like an Xbox or something. And I just had the GameCube and I only played Animal Crossing and that was it. And then I got into Sims. My brother had Sims on PlayStation 1, but, um, and I played it a little bit, but he didn't let me play with his PlayStation that often. So I couldn't get that into it. But um, I remember one of those scholastic book fairs, I had enough money to buy The Sims, like, was it Unleashed or something? And I bought it, like, not knowing that it was an expansion pack. So I just had it. And then I figured it out that, like, you needed the base game and everything. I'm pretty sure. I might be remembering this wrong. But so then eventually I got the base game and then I became obsessed with playing The Sims on the PC. So anyways, that's my story. But Animal Crossing came before that. So Animal Crossing coming out on the Switch now has me extremely pumped. And I bought a Switch in Hawaii because I wasn't sure if GameStop was going to close. This was before their weird, like, we're not going to close, we're going to stay open. And then now the government's like forcing them to close, I think. 
they got like sued and stuff. It's crazy. But anyways, this is before they were all closing and all that drama happened. So I went and bought myself a Switch Lite. It's yellow. <laughs> and I want to put stickers on it, but I'm like not sure. I can't commit yet. So I don't know what stickers I want to put on it. But um, oh, also with this table, I thought this might work. Um, it doesn't. So <laughs> just fair warning. I thought like this is how the table should work. You know, this is how people actually put chairs on their big round tables. And yet... The Sims team is like, no, you need to have a bajillion chairs around it like a big ass conference table. I hate it. I tried to play test it, you know, and it, it they can't even sit in the chair. So I did end up putting it back. So in the screenshots, it is back. But I thought I should let you guys know you can make it you can fake it out. You can make it look like that, but you can only have two people sit at that table. So whatever. Um, but yeah, so then I, I bought the switch. I pre-ordered um, Animal Crossing, and I've been kind of obsessively playing with it since then, and I'm, like, an OG Animal Crossing person. I freaking love that game, and I love this version of it as well. It's pretty fulfilling for me <laughs> since I don't have a GameCube anymore, and I can't play the GameCube one anymore. Um, I basically just said that twice, didn't I? <sighs> Whatever. My brain is, like, scrambled eggs right now. Like, I cannot... If I'm, like, not saying much in this, it's that's why. I'm so just blah from being at home. Like, I'm fine with being at home. I'm, an, I'm a homebody person, but not being able to, like, not having anything to do, not having any sort of responsibilities is kind of weird. And I, it's like I have no stress in life and work and all of that. But I have a lot of stress about the coronavirus and everything. And it's just a, my head is so jumbled and like gross. So I can't. I'm sorry if I'm not making a whole lot of sense. Whatever. Also wanted to point out this kitchen is almost the exact same layout as my aunt and uncle's kitchen. It's really weird. I didn't realize that until I was like completely done with this but it's it's not nearly the same color scheme or anything like that there's this very like avocado green and um like wood paneling and stuff which I think they might have redone their kitchen but I don't know whatever I haven't seen them in years but they have like an old 1950s ranch home as well and I just thought it was interesting it's the exact same layout like the stove is in the same spot the sink is in the same spot the fridge everything they even have a little table in the same corner so weird and the windows everything is the same but the rest of the house is a totally different layout like the only thing that's similar is that they do have a laundry room like in the same area um that's what that space is behind the stove and they do have like the dining room and the living room in the same spot but everything else about the house is different so I kind of wonder if like their house was like maybe built around the same time um or if like what whoever designed the floor plan um kind of took some ideas or maybe it was the same person I don't know you never know with this stuff like people in the 50s were building houses at such a rate <laughs> because families needed bigger homes so like the number of suburbs you see that were built with very similar homes in the 1950s. It's insane. There's just so many of the same type of houses because they just needed to roll them out as quickly as they could in this time, you know, post-World War II and everything. Like, people really, really needed a lot of houses. So, yeah, it very likely could have been borrowed. Um, the other thing is that, like, has kept me from editing this video is I've been obsessively playing City Skylines as well. Whenever I'm like not playing Animal Crossing, I'm playing City Skylines. And um, I don't post videos about that because I don't want to be judged. <laughs> but also like, like the City Skylines community can be so polarizing, I think, because it's like you have people who make extremely realistic, like there's people who are so good at that game. It's intimidating. And then you have people like me who are like moderately good at it. And I mean, not to toot my own horn, I guess, but um, like I'm not amazing at the game. I mostly enjoy it for like traffic management and stuff. And it kind of makes my brain like not think about the real world. <laughs> but um, 
there's people on there who've like completely replicated Tokyo or completely replicated New York City. It's insane to me. And like even down to the vehicles being the same, which they must have a beast of a computer to be able to handle all of those sorts of mods and stuff. That's another reason why I don't upload videos about City Skylines because it's like my computer can barely handle it. <laughs> And I have a decent computer. It's not amazing, but it's like a decent one. But yeah, so I have been playing that a lot as well. And that really makes me like fall into a pit of that game because I just play it for hours and hours on end. So if my Sims videos are a little um, sparse, that's why. <laughs> but I think I do just want to do more like mid-century ones. I do enjoy this sort of decorating style a lot more because I feel like it's less limiting um, than the early like 1900s ones simply because like if you have watched those ones you may notice that a lot of the furniture and everything gets quite repetitive and definitely with the 1950s I do have to use like if I want to do like these bathrooms the sort of color-coded stuff it does get a bit repetitive because it's only these few items that are these colors, um, and those were the trendy 1950s colors, but there's more furniture op options that work for 1950s and 60s and all of that, so um, I kind of enjoy doing these more, and personally, I just like the style of like 1950s ranch homes more, and I obviously love 1940s like Tudor homes a lot, so I'll probably do more of those. I think I'm just going to do more of like what I want to do for this time, <laughs> like for how, however long this like this pans out, you know, I'm just going to do what I want to do, I guess. Um, we'll go back to year by year stuff sporadically. Like I mentioned before, I'll do it every so often, um, but I don't want to do it like strictly that it really makes me feel a lot more burnt out <laughs> with making these videos. So um, get to have a fun one every so often, I think, or maybe a bit more often than not now. Yeah. Oh, this room here I wanted to mention just in case anybody thought I was being lazy. I was being a tiny bit lazy, but um, that's more of like a guest room. And then this room I just made like kind of a stereotypical like child's bedroom. And of course, everything is pink simply because it's the easiest thing with like I don't know. It was just the easiest thing for me to do at the time. I didn't put much thought into it. I just kind of was like, okay, pink and everything is pink. I think I tend to make a girl's like, um, gender norm type of girl color bedroom. You know what I'm talking about? Like everything pink, everything slightly like girly themed, um, more often than maybe a gender neutral or a stereotypically like boy color scheme. Obviously, I don't necessarily prescribe to that. Like, this could be a boy's bedroom or it could be whatever you want it to be. You know, it doesn't have to be a girl's bedroom. But um, y'all know what I'm talking about, gender norms and whatnot. So I tend to go for pink a lot more often than I go for blue or green or yellow or whatever. I don't know why, but I just tend to. I think for my brain, it's just like an automatic thing. Plus, I just think of like... 50s stuff as more pink than anything else. I think for me that screams 50s a little bit more than other color schemes. It's absolutely not true though, but just it's where my brain goes. So hence why my 1950s bedrooms tend to be pink for some reason. Even this master bedroom is pink and the master bathroom is pink. Thankfully, I changed the kitchen because that was going to be pink at first as well. <laughs> I guess I was just in the pink mood for this video. I really don't know why. Um, but I did try to keep it a little bit more basic in terms of decoration and everything, simply because a lot of my builds tend to be overly cluttered, overly styled my particular way. And I know that can be limiting for people who maybe don't like my style or, you know, have their own like desire to change things. I know whenever I download a build off of the gallery, I always have to change so much of it because I just don't have the same style as the other person 
who made it. So um, I try to make it a little bit easier now for people to change it um, instead of, you know, shoving clutter and random crap everywhere to get a certain look. It's like simpler is a little bit better, <laughs> I think. I don't know. And this is a basement. I did accidentally forget to record um, part of me like decorating this basement, but I went for the quintessential just wood paneling and that laminate flooring that is just wonderful. <laughs> I wish we had more uh, laminate flooring like this in the game. It like I know a lot of people it wouldn't, you know, suit their taste, but for me, obviously, that would work out pretty well and it would be a welcome addition to this game. Speaking of additions to this game, um I'm like anxiously awaiting the new knitting pack that's coming out. I did the voting on it and stuff and I actually like the results of the voting I am okay with. Like the first round not so much. I wasn't too happy with what happened and you know that's just people's that's this community's choice and so be it. But I wasn't too happy about it. But with the build items and everything, I'm okay with it. <laughs> It's not everything that I wanted. It's not, you know, totally my style, but like, I'm okay with it. I think some of it will work for vintage -y sort of builds and everything. And obviously knitting is very much like a, um, an oldie type of hobby. So that is, I, I knit myself in real life every so often. So I'm excited to have that as a feature. I know a lot of people are very bored by that and I get it, but for me personally, I'm excited about it. So looking forward to that. Um, I don't think I have, oh yeah, I do show a little bit of the decorating of the basement in this because I remembered that I needed to film that. So that's pretty much the end of this video is just me doing the basement. And then not all the screenshots are at the end simply because I'm trying something a little bit new and having some screenshots at the beginning as well to sort of give, because I know a lot of people kind of just start the video and are like, oh, do I like this and whatever. <laughs> and they don't know, you know? Um, so I'm just going to try to do that from now on, do a little bit of screenshots in the beginning to, um, maybe entice people who might not want to click through the whole video or watch the whole video. So that's why there's some in the beginning and the rest of them at the end, which is coming up here in a few seconds. Um, also have to have a classic basement bar. That's such a 1950s thing. And, you know, provides much more entertainment. That's another benefit of doing 1950s builds. There's way more opportunities to add like, like entertainment and stuff into, um, like fun items and stuff into the build just because they had more like technology and more things like bars and whatnot in their actual houses. than in like the early 1900s, the early 1900s ones, I can mostly just put like, like, chess boards and stuff but in the 1950s ones i can actually put a tv like i did here so anyways thank you so much for watching if you did make it this far please consider subscribing and leaving me a like and a comment if you really want to <laughs> i would appreciate it a lot and stick around for the next one don't know when it'll come hopefully soon if you know i feel like it yeah i'm not good at ending these videos but anyways thank you okay bye